everyone first things first happy new year i hope you all had an amazing new year's eve and new year and yeah it's now 2015 which is a bit of a crazy thought but there we go it's happened so today i'm going to be doing my 2014 beauty favorite i was completely deliberating whether to do this video because honestly when i've, oh, I've got hair in my face my hair is doing my head in today um, basically, when I thought back about all the stuff I'd used in 2014, nothing really kind of jumped out to me as like, holy grail, purpose, and I went through all my favourites videos and I was like, oh yeah, they were quite good actually. So I have got my top 14 products from 2014. I thought I'd be really original and do top 14 products because it was 2014. Turns out there's probably about 14 other videos in my subscription feed, which are all exactly the same, but we're going to roll with it because I've laid them out already. But so we're going to start off with skincare. Now there's not a lot of skincare products that really wow me this year because I feel that I've tried a lot of new skincare and not very many of them have worked. 2014 was definitely a year that I battled with my skin and towards the end of the year my skin has just been shocking. Like I literally, I don't know what the hell is going on. But 2015 is the year that I'm determined to kind of fix my skin. I'm taking supplements, I'm trying to eat really healthy. I've completely changed up my skincare routine to really kind of natural stuff. So fingers crossed we will get it back on track. But there were a couple of things that I just wanted to mention. The first is the Mario Badiscio Glycolic Gel. Now this is the second bottle that I bought. I bought two bottles in 2040, which I think says a lot. Basically it's glycolic acid in a gel form, but it's not really, really harsh because I find that acid toners, if they're really, really severe, can actually be a bit too harsh on my skin and actually makes the situation worse, not better. But this actually, even though it is like an acid gel and it sounds a bit like, oh, scary, um, it's not scary at all because it doesn't irritate my skin. I find this is really good for kind of like the healing process. So a bit too much information going to come your way very soon. But you know when you kind of get an over a breakout and it gets to that kind of scabby point where it's basically almost gone but you're getting a bit scabby and stuff. This is perfect for just kind of healing that all up. I also find that it's really good for reducing spot size as well. It just kind of helps my skin feel a lot less congested and kind of bunged up, if that makes sense. The next skincare product is an eye cream because 2014, I wanted to get more into kind of eye care because I am kind of getting older. Well, I'm not really getting older, but yeah. Basically, I have been suffering from eye bags this year and because I've just been tired, basically. And Benefit's It's Potent Eye Cream has been the only thing that's really kind of helped work. I don't know what it is about it, but it just tends to kind of lighten the area. It kind of soothes. It just really really helps i find that when i put this on concealer kind of covers up my dark circles a lot more easily and yeah i just really really like it it's something that i definitely use when i'm looking like a zombie and i'm feeling really really tired this isn't going to be for everyone funnily enough my mum also had this and she did not get on with it at all so it completely depends whether it's kind of for you or not i really like it my sister really likes it but my mum hated it so maybe go ask if you can get a sample. I'm sure that Benefit probably do samples, especially for like eye cream and stuff. But for me, it's really, really helped with dark circles and kind of just keeping the area moisturized. Next, we move on to hair. And this is probably one of my favorite products of 2014 because it's a bit of a life changer. Slightly dramatic, but we're gonna go with it. This is Living Proof Prime Style Extender, and what first drew me to this is the fact that Jennifer Aniston is co-owner of this um, hair care brand. It's an American hair care brand. You can't get it that readily available in the UK. You get it from like Space and K, Cult Beauty, possibly John Lewis, but I could be wrong. And I love Jennifer Aniston. She is my ultimate girl crush. Like I remember watching Friends when I was little, thinking that woman's hair is incredible like the rachel haircut was just the epitome of the 90s wasn't it um so yeah jennifer Aniston is my number one girl crush she beats everyone like jennifer Aniston is the goal like she's up there with harry styles of like the people that i like need to meet before i die um so yeah obviously this really intrigued me because of her and her amazing hair and it's basically a primer for your hair which i was like say what what the hell you put it on damp hair and basically it kind of like looks in your hairstyle before you've even styled it. Really weird, but it works. I find that on first day hair, my curls were literally like, I used to walk to work and by the time I got to work, my hair was like, and I was like, 
oh, what a waste of time. But this actually keeps the curls in the majority of the day. And I've just noticed a huge difference that my hair lasts a lot longer. And yeah, it doesn't make your hair feel sticky or greasy or full like a lot of products do. It's just something that again, isn't like a miracle worker, but it definitely works. I have noticed my hairstyles last a lot, lot longer, which is saying something because obviously I have got quite heavy hair. Another hair product is this Kerity's hair oil, and this is the Elixir Autumn. I probably completely pronounced that wrong, but you guys know I'm not very good at my pronunciations. And this is a really, really nice hair oil. I've had it since probably the summer, and that's literally how much I've used. So this is gonna last me a pretty long time. I have a love-hate relationship with hair oils. Some make my hair feel really greasy and sticky, but this is just amazing. And um, the two of these together have just been kind of like a hair care dream team. Just makes my hair feel really soft, really shiny, really, really man manageable. So yeah, love this favorite hair oil for sure. Oh. Next we move on to body and, yeah, body products. <laughs> so the first body product is my favourite fake tan, and you guys all know I love a fake tan. And my favourite one, like there was no competition at, at all. Um, this is the Hishi One Hour Rapid Liquid Tan, and this is freaking amazing if you like a dark tan. I have used probably every single fake tan on the market because I am obsessed with tanning. And there's a lot of good ones out there, like notable mentions go to Zen Tan, the Saint Tropez Dark Range, like the Coco Brown Mousse, they're all really, really good fake tans, but this is just in a completely different league. It's a liquid tan, so it means it is quite runny, I would say you, you want to use this if you're more of an experienced tanner, and you have to work quite fast, so like it does get on the carpet, so make sure you've got a towel down, or you know, whoever you live with will not be happy. Um, it just delivers the most darkest tan that I've ever, ever used. And I like a really, really dark olive tan. I want to look like I've just been in Barbados for three weeks. Like, that's the look that I want. Or that I'm naturally that tanned. This just provides a really, really lovely, dark, natural tan that develops really, really quickly. I tend to sleep in it because I find that's just the easiest way for me. And it lasts for a really long time. This lasts a good five to seven days without going patchy, without looking rank. Obviously you need to prep before, so make sure you kind of scrub yourself, moisturize. If you do all that, you will be good to go for a good five to seven days without any patchiness, which I think is amazing. Because the next body product, but I'm not really sure if we can really call this a body product, but I'm gonna call it a body product anyways, is this works deep sleep stress less. And it's basically an oil that you rub on like your wrist, you can put it on your pillow before you go to sleep, and it just helps you sleep better. It's got like lavender and ylang ylang oil and it's weird because when i got this i was like this isn't gonna work but swear down this helps me have a really really good night's sleep i don't know if it's maybe like a psychological thing that you put it on and you think okay i'm gonna relax more but there's something about it i notice a difference when i don't use this to when i do use this and i even like my mum who's not very good at sleeping at all she said that this is amazing i bought it at her for christmas and she said to me last night I've been sleeping so much better since using this. So it's not just me. I don't know what it is, but it just really helps me relax. I just feel like I really have a nice deep sleep when I've used it, which is really, really strange. I didn't use it last night and I had so many nightmares last night. Like I had three nightmares, which was really, really strange. The next body product kind of thing is 3D Crest White Strip. Picked these up when I was in America back in April. And I bought these on the very last day. I kind of, did, I went around Walgreens on the last morning before we went to the airport and I was like Dale Winton in a supermarket suite trying to spend the rest of my dollars. And I picked up these and they're the classic vivid white strips. I'd heard a lot about them. Basically I have a very much a, not even love, probably more like a hate relationship with my teeth. I've never liked them. Thankfully wearing a retainer every night has kind of put them into place and they look less like Stonehenge which is what they used to look like in my earlier YouTube videos. Um, but I've never really managed to get them very white and no matter what I did, I always was like, oh, I'll get them white and professionally, but it, that costs an arm and a leg. But this actually made such a big difference. I found that they really whitened my teeth. I haven't even used all of them. I think I used like five or six days in a row and it made a huge difference. 
they didn't create any sensitivity. I know they're really hard to get in the UK, so I'm really sorry about that. But if you're going to America or you know someone going to America or you managed to get hold of them some way, definitely do because they didn't create any sensitivity for my teeth. And yeah, they made such a big difference. And I feel a lot more, more ugh. I feel a lot more confident about my teeth, which I never thought I would do. Next we move on to nails and my favourite nail polishes of the year have to be the Barry M Jelly Collection and in particular their collection that came out in spring because I wore these colours practically the whole of spring throughout summer. I just literally could not get enough of them and annoyingly my favourite one from the collection I can't bloody find. So I don't know where it is but I can't find it. It was like a neon kind of minty green one which is just my favourite colour ever. But these colours are just so, so pretty. This is Huckleberry and Rose Hip, a really gorgeous baby pink and baby blue. And like I said, the other one, which is like a greeny, minty colour, was just amazing. And I literally just rotated the three of these the whole, you know, spring and summer. Just loved them. Couldn't get enough of them. These are definitely my favourite nail polishes of 2014. So we move on to the last section now, which is makeup. And yeah, I really struggled actually trying to think of like my favourite makeup items, which you know, yeah, basically. So we're going to start off with my favourite bronzer of the year, and this is the Liz Earl Radiant Glow Bronzer. Um, it didn't really look much when I first got it, but as you can see, it's very well used. It's basically just a combination of a couple of matte shades with a couple of highlightery shades, and it just created the most amazing glowy bronzed look that I use for like again from like spring to probably I still use it now because it's just great for kind of giving you that sun-kissed glow and just kind of adds a bit of life to your skin and my favorite highlighter without a doubt is MAC soft and gentle I use this pretty much the whole year it's just the most amazing highlighter it's just a really nice kind of pearly sheeny color I just absolutely love it and I think you can't go wrong I've used it for the majority of the whole year and you can't even tell like there's not even like a dent in it that's amazing my favourite concealer of the year is probably the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because this is pretty darn good coverage wise. It covers up literally everything which is amazing. My only beef of it is that it doesn't last very long so you don't get very much in a tube and considering it is like £22 it is kind of annoying that you use this every day for like four to six weeks and then you're already out of it you're like for god's sake. Um, Because yeah I think it's, how much is it? like six mils which isn't very much at all but yeah it's just a really really lovely concealer and I think it's definitely worth the hype I am kind of begrudging paying for another one because this is my second tube of the stuff right, moving on to my favorite lip products of the year and it has to be lip liners at the beginning of the year I want to touch lip liners with a barge pole because I used to wear lip liners and I'd end up looking like Miranda Sings but then my girl crush on Kylie Jenner developed and basically obviously she's the queen of lip liners so obviously I naturally wanted to get in on it too and yeah basically all I use now is lip liners and I just love the way how you can kind of change the shape of your lips you can make them bigger you can change I don't know I just love the fact that you can kind of change the shape of them with a lip liner it does take a bit of practice but I feel that I'm getting there and hopefully I don't look as Miranda Sings as what I used to and yeah, Rimmel do some amazing lip liners. This is the Exaggerate and this is East End Snob. I love this. This is the most amazing kind of girly pink color. It was 2 dollars They also do an amazing kind of brownie nude color, which is called Spice. And that's like a pencil. That is incredible too. The very Kylie Jenner shade. And then I recently splashed out on the Charlotte Tilbury lip sheet. And this is the color Pillow Talk because I'd had, I'd had so many people talk about this and I was like, I'm going to get it. And I've got it on today and it's, it's pretty nice. So my final favourite product of 2014 is the Beauty Blender. Again, something that I wasn't expecting to like. I was like, how is this going to work? But this just applies foundation and concealer like a dream. Yes, you have to dampen it and that seems like a really weird concept, but it just provides you with a really, really amazing flawless finish and you just kind of have like this almost airbrushed look about you which is like weird but it's true and yeah absolutely love it so there we have it there with my 2014 beauty favorites how i feel like i waffled on and my nose keeps going all funny so hopefully i'm not sounding too nasally um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video that is just a selection of some products i've been absolutely loving the past year 
so yeah i hope you're good i hope you're all excited for 2015 and what it may bring um i'm feeling really positive and excited about the next year i don't want to get all like mystic meg and soppy on you but i do feel like it's going to be a good year and i feel this year is going to be the year that i meet harry styles i can feel it in my bones so we just have to hope that my bones are right because that's obviously the life goal so yes i hope you're all good i hope you all had a great new year and i will be seeing you very very soon for my next videos thanks for watching bye